Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter. Um, I know I haven't been posting much lately. School and a new job have been just taking up a lot of my time. But today I am back with in unboxing and tagging what have you from New Craft Days collaboration. So they sent this to me to share with you and I did not have to pay for it. All right. So New Craft Day, if you have not checked out their site, newcraftday.com, they offer cross stitch diamond painting, paint by numbers, um, it says tattoo stickers. They have sub a section called weaving, which I know you can get some like knitting, crochet tools, and yarn. They have some really pretty yarn. That's what I was sitting here looking at just now, because I am a knitter. Their cross stitch, it looks like they have Joy Sunday, Spring Brand, Mona Lisa, Jingli, Yishu, Huan Can, and DIY. They have they have a lot of sections you can choose under cross stitch to help you just, you know, go to what you're looking for. They have like Christmas, Easter, cottage and garden silhouettes. They have nine count, stamped counted, eleven count, fourteen count, sixteen count, eighteen count. All stamped and, and counted both. Big size cross stitch. They have cross stitch crafts, which is like tote bags, um, bookmarks, beaded embroidery. They have a section called Christmas socks. So, okay, that's stockings. I had to click on it, see what that was. Um, under their diamond paintings, they have round drill, square drill, and special drill. They have AB drills um, and crystal drills. And then it's also separated in sections like cartoons, animals, characters, landscapes. They have pendants, stickers, ornaments, keychains, coasters, bookmarks, wreaths, greeting cards, notebooks, all kind of stuff. Um, they have a section called scrapbook series, which has like um, cutting dies, silicone stamps, decoupage, card sets and tools, stickers. And then there they have epoxy modes, fire paint, paint by numbers. So they have a lot to check out. They have a lot to offer. Um, today I'm just I'm bagging this one kit. Um, they gave me a selection that I could choose from and I chose this because who would not choose this? Look how cute this is. I think I have my camera at a weird angle. Let me try to lower it a little bit. Sorry for all the movement. I think it's a little bit better light's still going to be shining on it, but look at these kittens and their strawberries. It is so cute. Um, while I was waiting for this, I saw a couple other people unbox this, and I cannot wait to get started on this. It is so cute. But let me do this myself. Let's get to it. So first off, I'm trying to see what light is causing the most glare. I think it's my overhead light. Let me go turn that off and see if it helps. Okay, I think that's better. So, look how cute. And this is a sticker, I believe. Yeah, it's a sticker, so um, I have a notebook I keep these in. Or sometimes I'll put them on the front of a notebook. Anyway, it's really cute. Okay. at the chart it's printed on like glossy paper but it is yeah it's rippable looks like four pages total for the for the chart um it has looks like 40 40 colors shows you the number the symbol, the chart, and then the DMC number. The chart is printed clearly. I don't see anything. No smudging, no smearing, no, you know, nothing to make it hard to read. Everything is clear and, and it's square. Everything is easy to read. The 
pages aren't numbered, but they're pretty clear where where what goes, if that made sense. I mean, here's the top square, 0 to 10, 0 to 10, and then goes across to 130, and then down to, I guess, around 100, and then picks back up up here at 100, well, 99, and then works down to the 172. So yeah, easy to read, easy to see, easy to understand. Shows that it is 130 stitches wide by 172 stitches high. Comes with instruction sheet separate. So if you've you know seen any of these cross stitch kits before, then it's pretty standard. Shows you how to choose your strands, how to read the printed cloth and the unprinted cloth, the charts and stuff, how to stitch on them, the different stitches. Um, and then like keep your hands clean, just little tips for while stitching and then for how to clean it and maintain it. Right. Let's look at So now I feel like I have my camera too close. So let's pull that back out a little bit. Apologize again for the movement. It's pretty thick, stiff canvas, but not too unyieldy. It'll soften up as I'm stitching on it. Um, it's surged all the way around the edges. Shows the one. Through 32 and then 33 through 40. For the colors. Shows the symbols as blocks of the symbols, so multiple of the symbols, so you know what it looks like on the chart. It is different symbols than on the printed pattern, so you'll have to go by this legend to know which goes which symbol goes with G's collar. You'd think I hadn't done an unboxing before. I don't know why I'm having such troubles speaking my language. All right, let's look. It's very clearly printed. Everything looks like it is in the appropriate squares. I'm not seeing any Smears or smudging. I'm not seeing any um, errors in printing that I've been seeing in some other kits where it jogs and then it's off. This one looks like it is the way it's supposed to be. Looks like there are blocks of color and confetti. So when I get tired of doing some of the more confetti-ish areas, I can go and do some of the blocks of collar. It does have a random needle just stuck in the fabric, so I'm going to take that out. You know how I feel about leaving it in the fabric. I'm going to forget about it and lose it and end up with it in my foot or something. You can see, you can see the kitties and the strawberries in the basket. You can see everything pretty clearly. I think this is going to be really fun to stitch on. I think I'm actually going to start it tonight. In between doing some of my homework and studying and whatnot. Because it's just really cute and I've been looking forward to it. Let's look at the floss. I'm trying to remember if there's anything I didn't tell you. It surged. Everything's pretty clearly. The surging did not go through the numbers. Yeah, this is just, it should be a pretty easy stitch and it's you know, that is clear and easy to read. The confetti might take a little bit, but it still is going to be a pretty quick stitch, I think. Alright. Let's look at 1 through 18 first. Some of the colors 
are looking a little washed out to me on my monitor. So I don't know if they're coming out as clear as they could be, but they're not too far off. This one on my monitor is, is more of a pale yellow, but in real life it's more vibrant, almost a greenish yellow. And we have the reds and pinks. Those are coming out pretty good. Browns, tans. I think this one's a little more golden to my eyes than on my monitor, but yeah, they're turning out pretty, pretty close. I think you could warm them up a little bit if that made sense, and that would look closer to what I'm seeing with my naked eye. Let's look through 19 through 36. Some blues, another brown, some pretty greens, more blues, more brown, tans and off whites and creams. I think that's a really light blue. And then 37 through 40. Nice purple, tan, and white, or off white. And then all of them together. Just very pretty. Nice springtime colors, summer colors. So yeah, this is making me happy. Oh, I didn't tell you the price of this. Let me get back on other monitor. So this costs eleven dollars and twenty nine cents. It is forty one by fifty one centimeters. I told you one hundred thirty by one hundred seventy two stitches. This is eleven count, and I think it is going to turn out quite prettily quite prettily pretty on the side this says this is a Mona Lisa brand now I can't remember if I've had Mona Lisa before or not I'd have to look through my stuff if so then I, I don't have a lot of them but I am looking forward to doing this and I think I will start it like I said later maybe I'll do a little stitch with me with this one but it's so cute and I hope you enjoyed seeing this kit being unbagged for you. Once again, it is from newcraftday.com. I realize I didn't even say, uh, say anything about the little toolkit. So it looks like there are three needles, which probably is supposed to be in the poof ball, but it is not a poof ball, needle, uh, needle threader, and one of the adjustable thimbles. And like I said, there was another needle in the fabric. So pretty basic toolkit. Um, I, I use these and lose these so much. I'm glad I get them with most of my kits. These thimbles, I still have yet to use one. I cannot find a way to use it that is comfortable for me. Um, if, I, if you have any tips for using one of these, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know, have you shopped with New Craft Day? Have you seen their products? Have you visited their site? If so, what do you like? Do you like the cross stitch? Do you like the diamond painting? Do you like the paint by numbers? Um, do you want to see something else from them on my channel? Would you like to see diamond painting or uh, maybe some of their yarn or something? Let me know in the comments and I will see what I can do for you. And I thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. It was pretty quick and um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.